I am having fun tinkering with my SIM 800L GSM module, which is this one, which I already posted some tutorials in this YouTube channel. Please be sure to check it out, okay? Then I thought, why not adapt the LCD menu I am working on and try to replicate the mobile phone functionality and add some more. So, here is the bare bone of my SIM 800L mobile phone project. But in this video, we will focus on the text entry mode using the 4x4 keypad module. First, let's demonstrate it so you will have the idea. So, here you can see uh, D for the menu. So, let's press the D. Then we can go up, down or go up. And messages, select the messages. Create messages. Create SMS. Enter message. So here, we can enter a message. Let's say, uh, hello. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, world. R, L, I think here, and D here. Then, uh, exclamation here. So that's it. Or, you can delete the previous using the asterisk, like this. Let's say word, we type again, D. When you are complete with the message, you can press the hash key or the uh, sharp key to delete this key. So let's press the hash key. Created message. Now we can enter a, a number. Let's say enter a number. One, two, three, four. Let's say this is my number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Then we can delete also. Let's say replace the zero with nine. And we press the hash key. Created number. The links for the circuit diagram, Arduino sketch, and other information could be found in the video description. Now, let me try to discuss how to replicate the text entry mode function using a simple 4x4 keypad. This sketch is a little bit complicated, but let us just focus on how to implement the text entry mode. So here, we will go to the enter messages function, which is for entering the SMS message. Here, we create a car variable named key then we clear the lcd then we initialize the x and y position for the lcd and we clear the message variable here we use a do while loop in order for us to run at least once until such time that the hash key is pressed then we pull the key press and store it in the key variable. According to the key press, we parse the other keys based to the number of key presses. Let's say, when you press number 1, it will check how many times you press key number 1 and comparing it to the above character array. Let's demonstrate it. So, let's enter a message. When you press number 1, we compare it to how many times you press the character, uh, where is that, here. So let's say we use number two key. So when we press the number two key once, it will print A. When we press twice, one, two, it prints B. 
when we press three times, C. When we press four times, oops, sorry, again, one, two, three, four, it's number two. So let's go back to the function. So we exit the do while loop when the hash key is pressed. Let's say when you press number two, it will parse the key from alpha variable from location 8 to 12, which is this one, 8 to 12. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So including the space. The parse key function is used, which is this one. This is called. The parse, this parse key function gets the number of key press in a specific key from minimum value to maximum value in the alphanumeric key variable. So that's it for now. I hope this video helps you. And if you have any question regarding this tutorial, be sure to write it in the comment box below. Please do like and share this to your friends. Subscribe also. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.